Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V! Let's explore this village of history where they herd sheep. That's all they do with the sheep. They herd them. Fair enough. Let's take a look around. Nothing useful at the item shop, or nothing that I care about. And there's the falls to the east. History Falls! Makes sense. Huh, found something at the flower bed, huh? Maybe we should check that out. Nothing interesting at the equipment shops here. Oh, that's not good. Did that earthquake hit the entire world? Some frogs are still asleep, huh? Now, I forget whether someone was supposed to tell us to do this or not, but basically here's what you do. Walk all over the flower bed. Voila, you get a frog coming out of there. I guess I woke him up somehow. I, I don't know how that works, viewers. But he leaves behind the toad spell, which will be useful in the very near future. Get out of my way. Out of my way! There we go. Oh, can't go up this way. And no new spells there. An old man monster that hits you with thunder. Gee, I wonder who that could be. Huh, that one sheep doesn't like us, huh? Sorry, I don't know any sheep jokes. But anyway, you're supposed to stand behind this sheep here, gives you an attitude, and kicks you over this fence so you can talk to this bard. No! No, no, I'm just kidding. That, that is me. And this bard teaches us the all-important love song. It casts stop on all your enemies in battle. And better than that, just about every enemy is susceptible to stop. So it's pretty ridiculous, viewers. I'll be putting that to use as soon as I finish up with uh, the Blue Mage job class there because I want Gallop to get up to level 4 before I start working on Bard there. So let's take a look at this forest over here. Now I c could kill that monster with Deathclaw, or almost kill it, but you know, I, I want to have a little bit of a fair fight. There we go. Ow. Maybe I should have healed up, huh? Uh-oh. Um, yeah, I forgot to heal up before this battle. Oops. Uh, obviously, Ramu is going to absorb lightning, so I'll have Gallif cast something else. Whatever. Crap, it hit Ferris. Well, that's not good. Yeah, I think one shuriken is good enough. Or maybe not. Well, I don't want to waste my... I can't use aim now when I'm in darkness? I didn't know that. That's not good at all. How am I going to beat this guy now? Th this is going to get interesting, folks. <laughs> I suppose maybe stat might work on him. This was unexpected. Maybe I'll actually hit him one of these days? No. Darkness actually works in this game. I suppose I could use one of those eye drops. Got nothing better to do. Yeah, Ferris is going to be dealing all the damage I care about. There we go. Let's see, maybe an attack from Ferris and a fire two from Gallop ought to do the trick. There we go, that's more like it. Let's see, one more ought to do it. He has like 3,000 HP, or something like that. Oop, no, I guess I need a little more help. Barely survived that one. Come on. Ugh. Okay, hurry up, Lena. Well, at least my reflexes are doing okay, but one more of those electric shocks. Oh. Why didn't that deal as much damage this time? That's weird. Have you killed him yet? Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Yes! Got him. Uh, we're humans just like you, and apparently our Esper Ifrit is talking to Ramu. Stop! You're making me blush! Yay! Ooh, and Ferris learned an interesting ability, Image. It, you use the ability, and it, well, creates an image of you. Yeah, I'm gonna need more eye drops, or I can use that heal spell that I got. 
Yeah, that's a good idea. And let's put Ramu to use. Now, some summons, like Ramu, you have to win them from battle like this. Use it as an item. You hear their sound effect when you use it in battle, and you'll get the summon available. Now, let's see, that's everything we can do here. There is a random battle that we can meet up with around here that you might meet up with instead of Ramu. So I'm gonna take a moment to uh, yeah, heal up and everything, and then I'll be right back to show off that battle and how to deal with it if you have to. Okay, so let's take a look at those mini dragons. I just needed to heal up. I didn't change my classes or abilities or anything like that. It's pretty much a guaranteed battle around here, so. Use basically any scroll you want on them. That is the hard part though, surviving mini blades. So what I want to do is get haste going on Ferris there and hope that I can survive. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe control one of them or something. One other thing though, they are susceptible to the toad status. So if you can toad a few of them, well, it didn't do such a good job, but one more scroll ought to do. And voila! There you go. Not that hard to beat. And they give quite a bit of ability points and experience. Alright, Galif learned, uh, gained a new level with Black Mage. I'm going to make him into a bard. I'm going to also do a little bit of shopping. I want to head over to Karnak again. I want to stock up to six Thunder Rods, because we're going to be using quite a few of those in the near future. And then I'll meet you outside of the Ancient Library to head to the Quicksand Desert. And we're back at the Ancient Library. Let's see if uh, anyone here has anything new useful to toss. Quicksand Desert, yeah, we have no idea how to get to the other side. It's a ruined city there, though. Huh, interesting. I wonder why King Tycoon would be going there. But maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was a ghost. I mean, ghosts do float, usually. Especially in those Final Fantasy Legend games, they really make it a point. Okay, so now all we can do is head to the west. There's no forests over there, so our black chocobo isn't going to be that useful. Uh, I made Gallop into a bard there, and I don't have a weapon on him. He doesn't really need one, so I don't really care right now. Eventually I might get something for him if I find something. Whatever. So let's head over here then. I forgot to mention, because this is normally when I do all that blue magic grinding that I did earlier. If you're doing it now, run from 15 battles in this area. Or at least do it before going into the desert here. Yeah, we could have tried coming here earlier, but... Okay, so before I enter here, I want to change up one of my character's job classes and be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go, so let's check out the Quicksand Desert. Now the only major change I made was I made Gallop into a blue mage. You know why, viewers. You know why. And we can't get through here because it keeps on kicking us back out. Whatever shall we do? Hey, it's Sid and Mini Sid to the rescue! You find something in any of those books? How to build a bridge? Well, I could have told you that. How are we going to do that? Sandworms, huh? You hate them, right, viewers? I hate them myself. Oh, okay, so we defeat the sandworm and then what? Build a bridge out of her! Oh, okay. Well, I guess that would work. Sure. Let's do it. Yep, we're ready to go. Got all my job classes. Not, don't use magic on the sandworm, huh? Really? I like how Gallif says here um, in the advanced version, When I was your age, we crossed burning sand every day. And we liked it! <laughs> oh, I love that translation sarcasm. <laughs> Okay, so we've got to deal with Sandworm and his holes. So, um, the fighters really aren't going to be doing a whole lot in this battle. Let's just defend and get to Gallop's turn. Oh, come on. That wasn't so bad. Now, what happens is he will go into one of his holes, and if you targeted him with magic, it won't follow him around. You'll hit the hole. 
but if you do like I did, wait for him to pop out of the hole, then target him with Aqua Rake, you can kill him in one hit, just like that. Hooray! Now we can get through the quicksand desert, or, well, at least part of the way. Oh, yeah, uh, look after the black chocobo there. We had the pirates look after our last chocobo, but, you know, well, we don't have pirates around here anymore, so. You guys gonna go back or what? I guess not. Okay, so now we have to go through the quicksand desert. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy V. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.